This is CBS 2 News This Morning. New Jersey commuters waking up to delays this morning. The impact after brush fires yesterday. And scary moments overnight at Monmouth University after shelter in place order that lasted for hours. The household item, though, that started it all. Plus, grand jury could vote to indict former President Trump as soon as today, where the case stands right now. Good morning on this Thursday, March 23rd. I'm Chris Raggy. And I'm Mary Calvi. Welcome to CBS 2 News this morning. We'll have the day's top stories for you in just a moment, but at 431, let's get over to that first alert forecast. And here's Elise Finch. Good morning. So we are in for another mild day, but this one will be filled with clouds and you do need to grab that umbrella. Let's take a look at these current temperatures. You can see that we're looking at temps that are pretty much in the 40s across the board and for places like New York City, upper 40s at that. So 48 for New York City, for Brick, for Poughkeepsie and Greenwich. So it is a mild start, but we do have some fog as a result. So visibility reduced uh, in New York City, but especially as you head to places like White Plains and Babylon. So just just know you may encounter some pockets of fog that will slow you down for sure this morning. So that's one hazard we already have as it relates to the weather. We also have uh, some rain heading our way. So we do anticipate that we'll see some periods of rain off and on throughout the day. You can see it off to our west there. So you'll want to grab that umbrella today. Maybe not your heaviest coat. We are expecting a high today of 64 degrees, but it will likely uh, be wet around lunchtime. We'll time it out for you coming up, but for now, I'll send it back to you. Elise, thank you. 432 away begin with a commuter alert trouble for train riders this morning. The problem is damage on NJ transit tracks from brush fires. CBS 2's Ania Maldonado joins us from the Metro Park station in Island with what commuters need to know heading into today. Zinnia. Chris and Mary, good morning. Well, the good news is the Northeast Corridor Line rail service is now operating on or close to schedule after last night's delays added hours to the rush hour commute. Now here at Metro Park Station, the next train heading into New York, Penn Station, is going to leave at 5 a.m. and it's set to leave on time. Live and streaming from CBS News, New York. This is CBS 2 News This Morning. After a messy evening commute, NJ Transit is promising fewer delays this morning. What to know before you start your day? And a shelter in place order at Monmouth University blamed on a common household item what led to the stressful night for students and staff. Looking live outside, some areas are off to a foggy and soggy start. How long rain sticks around? Good morning on this Thursday, March 23rd. I'm Chris Raggy. And I'm Mary Calvi. Welcome to CBS News this morning. We'll have the day's top stories for you in just a moment. But right now at 5 o'clock, let's get to that first alert forecast. And here's Elise Finch. Good morning. So we are in for a, a wet day. You will need your umbrella before heading out the door. You won't need your warmest winter coat by most people's standards. Take a look at the current temperatures. We're in the 40s across the board. We don't see that very often at 5 o'clock in the morning, but it is 41 degrees in Monticello, 42 for Sparta. Head down to Tom's River. It's 49 degrees. We've got 46 for Yapping, Darien and Scarsdale, both at 47, Central Park at 48. Usually our inland locations and some of the spots out on Long Island very cold in the morning. Nope, not today. Today, uh, things are mild, but as a result, partially of that warm air, we do have some fog that's developed. And so for some communities, uh, the visibility is really quite terrible, especially as you head to Scarsdale, Yapink, Roslyn, significantly reduced visibility. Just keep that in mind that you could encounter some of that fog, especially like if you're driving, that would slow you down quite a bit. So far, the rain has yet to move in. We have the clouds, we have the fog. The rain, as you can see, is still off to our west, but we do anticipate some rain moving in here by late morning. So you'll want to grab that umbrella before heading out the door. Just know that we have a chance for rain throughout the day, but it'll still be mild. 64 degrees, the forecast high for today. Mary? Elise, thank you. 501 a commuter alert this morning. Some rail riders hoping for a smooth AM rush. Well, last night, brush fires caused service problems on New Jersey Transit. CBS 2's Ania Maldonado joins us from Metro Park Station in Island with what commuters need to know before they head out this morning. Zania? Chris and Mary, well, the good news is this morning, the Northeast Corridor Rail Line service is now operating on or close to schedule between Trenton and New York Penn Station after last night's delays added hours to the commute for many. In fact, the trains here at Metro Park Station are all running on time. This is CBS 2 News This Morning. 
Chaos for the commute. Some NJ Transit trains came to a halt last night after several brush fires were sparked. We're live with what to expect for the morning rush. A major scare overnight at Monmouth University. Students had to shelter in place after reports of a shooting, but it turns out the weapon in question is something many people have at home. And all eyes on this Manhattan courthouse again today. What we can expect in a case today after prosecutors made a surprising decision in the Trump investigation. Good morning on this Thursday, March 23rd. I'm Chris Wright. And I'm Mary Kelly. Welcome to CBS News this morning. We'll get to those stories in just a moment. But first, at 6 o'clock, we're tracking some showers. Let's get right over to Elise in the Weather Center. Good morning to you, Mary and Chris. You will need an umbrella before heading out the door today. We do have some rain pushing into the tri-state area, so several chances for rain all day long. It doesn't rain all day, but we'll have a chance to see rain throughout the day. Take a look. Here's some rain pushing in right now. Now, some of it is not making it to the ground yet, but we are going to start to see that uh, as some of this, uh, some of the stronger cells that you see in yellow kind of hold together and push through parts of New Jersey, for example. So we will see some rain here uh, shortly with in the next couple of hours, pushing across central New Jersey. So Monmouth and Ocean, you're likely to see some rain here uh, within the next 30 to 40 minutes. Big picture look shows you there is more moisture behind that, so more chances for rain later this morning. Uh, we do have some fog as well. So we do have mild temperatures, which is nice, but it has contributed to the formation of fog, so we do have reduced visibility in some communities. By midday, we're definitely going to be seeing some rain uh, in and around New York City, which is why you want to keep that umbrella handy. The, the upside of this all is that we're expecting a high today of 64 degrees. So in spite of the clouds and the fog and the rain, it will be another mild day. And with that, I'll send it back to you. Elise, thank you. Six to one in chaos for the commute. NJ Transit hit with disruptions because of a problem with brush fires in Edison and New Brunswick brought service to a standstill during the evening rush. Yeah, but there is good news this morning. CBS News Ania Maldonado is live at Metro Park Station with an update for us. Ania. Chris and Mary, well, the good news is that the Northeast Corridor Line Rail Service is now operating on or close to schedule between Trenton and Penn Station after last night's delays added hours to the afternoon commute. In fact, the trains here at Metro Park Station all set to leave on time. Let's get a final check of your first alert forecast. Here's Elise. Good morning. Even though it looks pretty nice behind me, you do need to grab that umbrella before heading out the door. We are seeing rain in parts of the tri-state area. For New York City, right now we're at 49 degrees, so it's definitely mild out the door. Most locations are in the 40s. Uh, we've yet to see the rain, but we do have the clouds and a little bit of fog has been uh, pushing through the city. Here's the rain that we're seeing. Not quite as much up north. Certainly as we head to central New Jersey, we're going to see a little bit more of that rain as it pushes out of Pennsylvania. Still, we have a chance to see showers really at any part of the tri-state area throughout the day as we see off and on showers, so grab that umbrella. At 64 degrees, the forecast high for today, it will absolutely feel like April out there, uh, so you may want to grab a lighter coat. Tomorrow, temperatures start to cool. We don't see as much rain, but the rain returns on Saturday. Mary, Chris? Okay, Lise, thank you. We're just seconds away from more live local news, weather and traffic streaming exclusively on CBS News New York. Find us on Pluto TV or by using the free CBS News app. And thank you so much for watching. I'm Chris Raggy. I'm Mary Calvi. CBS Mornings is next. Have a great day. on this Thursday, March 23rd. I'm Gail King. I'm Tony DeCopo. And I'm Vladimir Dutier. Nate is off today, but we're still here. So let's go to today's eye opener. It's your world in 90 seconds. They started screaming earthquake.